Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Steven here from Northwest Small Batch Brewing. <clears throat> and uh, today is a brew talk. I'm between uh, making brews, so we'll talk a little bit about something along the lines of the beer industry or maybe a beer topic. Today's topic I thought was interesting. I came across, and I really haven't seen anybody post anything about this. I don't think it's on the market yet, but um, just like we have new hop varieties, oftentimes their crossbreeding sort of programs. It's not that there's like a suddenly a new birth of a new product. It's just, you know, a new plant. It's just that they have lots of breeding and, you know, genetically modified, you know, things. Uh, you know, the same happens a lot with yeast, right? We get new kinds of yeast. Like, how is that possible? Oh, they're doing all kinds of stuff in the lab, you know? Well, for 2024, there is a new malt, a new barley. That's kind of exciting. Uh, you don't hear about that very often at least i don't um so last year is when they came out with it uh they sort of announced it for 2024 although i don't see it for sale anywhere yet so my guess is it's still you know matriculating um so this is a british malt um from a company called i'm gonna probably say this wrong syngenta i think is how you would pronounce it um and the name of this new malt is Tennyson. Tennyson? I think I'm saying that right. I'll put it up on the screen. Uh, I think the official name is Cy Tennyson, but I'm just calling it Tennyson Malt. Um, it should be a base grain, just like, you know, Maris Otter, you know. I'm saying British, you know, because it's a British malt. Um, they say that there is a much higher increase in yield for this malt, and uh, it has the highest hot water um, extraction of any variety. So they say. Uh, what's cool about this one is it can be used for brewing or malt distilling. Now, generally speaking, I feel like pretty much any malt can be used for distilling, right, or brewing. Um, I mean, obviously, this is not a distilling channel, but the point is that there are some malts that are kind of bred for the distilling world because... When you're distilling, they're trying to get the highest amount of alcohol they can out of each run they do. So when they're doing their whiskey wash, or well, I say whiskey, any kind of alcohol, but if you're doing all grain, like with barley, I'm assuming you're doing a whiskey, um, you want to get as much sugar out of the least amount of grain that you can because it takes a lot, a lot of grain and a lot of liquid and a lot of wash in order to make a small amount of whiskey. So it's important to whiskey makers that they get the most yield out of that. And so sometimes you will find that certain barley is bred for that. And that doesn't mean it can't be used for brewing. It certainly can. But it tends to be pushed towards distilling because of that reason. Anyway, this particular one, like I say, is, is, is noted to be uh, good for both. Um, so how they come up with the name? Cy Tennyson or Tennyson in general, right? Well, I think there is somebody that maybe the person that you know runs this uh, Syngenta uh, malting company, his name is Tennyson, but um, they claim that this is named after Alfred Tennyson. Now, if you're like me, you probably haven't really heard of this guy. Um, this is a British poet from the 1800s and um. I think he was very famous, you know, poet back then. And I think he wrote stuff for royalty. Um, there is one line that you may recognize that he wrote in one of his, you know, poetic writings, which is, "'Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all." So if you know that particular saying, that was from Lord Tennyson. Um, that wrote that in one of his poetic things. Obviously, I don't read a lot of poetry. Um, anyway, it's a short video. I didn't have a lot to say about that. I just wanted to put something out there because I really uh, thought this was interesting. I don't, I don't really hear about new malts that often. So uh, keep an eye out. Uh, we'll see if this starts to show up on the market and people start using it and um, what people think of it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you uh, appreciated that being shorter, and I will be back in another week for another 
video. And until then, keep on brewing. <laughs>